what's happening, hot stuff. Welcome to the channel. Oh, Brian Giovanni Healer here with you, just about to do your Capricorn Aquarius cusp reading. That's right. Woo! I had the hiccups for a second. <laughs> Whew. Anyways, how you doing? You doing good? All right. That is good to know. Okay, so check this out. I got two decks, right? And I'm going to do your reading with both of them. That's right both decks okay so i'm gonna lay two cards in the beginning lay more cards on in the story then tell you the story and then get to verdict but click that like button and subscribe if you have not and i want to give a shout out to my subscribers and my members appreciate y'all and just one little quick thing um on my website if you want a personal reading if you go to book a reading um i had it set where it was like you have to make the appointment at least like four hours before your time of the appointment right so i had just recently changed that to one hour okay so if you go on there you'll see the business hours and you have one hour before close up shop or even for your booking one hour in advance of your time slot okay too easy here's your first card let's get rolling baby Ooh, two of wands Mm-hmm. Two of Wands. Well, it looks like that light is shining on the decision that you have to make. So you have a choice. Okay. But you have to make it very passionately, okay? This is like something deep within you, okay? Not just a random, I'm gonna go to the bathroom in a minute or 10 minutes, right? Even though that's important. <laughs> Let's go. Should never hold in your pee. Especially women. Okay, Seven of Cups. So you have options in this choice, right? Maybe you're weighing through your options, right? There is options you are weighing through. Definitely for sure is what I see, right? That's kind of your current energy now. So don't forget, these energies can be switched, reversed, flipped upside down, however. So if it fits, it ships. And that basically means that if you're feeling this energy, then it's yours. If not, it's somebody that's you're involved with okay so stick to the end of the video so you get the entire message okay hate for you to watch two minutes of it cut it off because you didn't think it was but the end was all about you all right okay so now the three of pentacles you've been weighing your options and making this trying to make a decision about what collaborating with somebody else teamwork collaborations three of pentacles are threes are about exploring things okay let's see this is definitely now solid your energy about you know options and collaborating with other people about something well, see I told you Investments, Seven of Pentacles. And he's looking, Seven of Pentacles is looking right at the Three of Pentacles. So seven and three is ten. Which, by the way, I have to correct myself because in numerology there is no ten. Because you have to reduce everything by a single digit. So it goes one through nine, and then you have the master numbers, 11, 22, and 33. So, in fact, the reality is that the number nine is the completions okay hmm interesting isn't it right but you still want to invest in collaborating with somebody this is the choice that you're waiting through your options to decide right you're emotionally choosing Ooh, you come on now <laughs> okay so now we have the knight of cups get it out there Yep, you, it looks like somebody wants to take some action towards somebody. Ooh, I want action. Okay, yep, yeah, there we go, poison. <laughs> okay, what is that? Mm, very interesting, it's like, this is like the dating pool, <laughs> right? And you're waiting your options out through that. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't have to be romantic, but, you know, um, it could be 
was what was work you know maybe you, you're just stuck and you just want something better so you're just weighing your options and trying to see which one which avenue you want to um, you know basically invest in right and you're ready to just take off so as soon as you pick something you're gonna go for it right it's gonna give you an even balance even give and take right this is what you're seeking this is what you're in action for with that nine of cups moving towards this better balance a little give and take I like that okay so it could be like I said with finances it could be with romance it could even be with friends who knows how it fits in your world right I'm just kind of giving you the basic general message if you want a detailed message hit me up on my website for a personnel reading right okay good my doggy's getting all a little freaked out because it was thunder and not earlier so she was prepared good deal okay so hey man okay Typically, when I do my own spread like this, it's always about the you know the duality. So you got the two cards here. Typically, the half of the first part of it is really like some of the past. That's typical. That's been pretty common. And so this side is like the future, but sometimes it switches. But nonetheless, this hangman here with this um, seven of cups definitely represents uh, you are taking your time. In picking options and choosing an option, right? Because maybe you're losing some money. See the money falling out? Right? Maybe over here with the Six of Pentacles, you're just giving out too much. Okay? Interesting that those two kind of come out like that. Okay, let's move on. nice and quiet for you i turn off everything the fans the ac yeah i hope you appreciate it because i'm just sweating to death i'm just kidding it's not that hot yet <laughs> it does get that way though yeah living in a box okay so the world card there it is you are really This was supposed to, this was meant to happen for you this way, okay? I don't know why I'm feeling that with the world card, like it's fate, kind of a lesson of not giving too much and maybe um, accepting that whatever you're getting and you're losing, it's just what it is. <coughs> Excuse me. No way there's something better for you because you want that balance, you want that you've been taken, you definitely are... Uh, searching through your options to see who you can collaborate with to invest in this even give and take okay so i like that part here we go with the next card for you you stressed worried anxiety okay so now as the world turns you're waiting for this to turn because you're tired of losing out right maybe losing funds like i said um stuff just mulling over your options there could be a couple different avenues of that okay and it all fits in the story for how you relate it, okay? All right, there's that King of Cups. Ah, see, you're starting to now self-doubt yourself about your own self-worth. Yeah, that Nine of Swords. Anxiety, stress, sleepless nights, King of Cups, self-worth, loving, giving, right? That's where you're at. Okay, so now you're starting to think that you're not worth what you uh, deserve. The contrary, my friend. The world card again. Two world cards. How do you like that? Well, now. Uh, don't worry, it's a big wide world out there, okay? It's a big wide, big wide world, and you have options for sure so you should take your time in picking through um these options to or i can't because my dog's right underneath me ah thunder and shit she's scared of that crap oh, so she shakes right on me All right so i mean there's a big wide world out there okay so don't stress about it because take your time in looking over the options that you want to choose the right one obviously to invest in collaborate with all right I like it 
and you'll have victory and success. So yes, definitely take that time. Take all the time you need, okay? Even though you feel like you're getting run over, maybe you're losing funds and all that kind of stuff and the hiccups, I think my diaphragm's stuck. <laughs> I'm just playing because I could really hold my breath for two minutes and I don't think you want to sit here and watch me do that. <laughs> Nonetheless, there's your victory, okay? So the world is yours and you get that sense of, you know, good luck and good fortune because now you have that six of wands with victory and success. So I think that you will take your time to pick an option of, you know, your, the best investment for you. Get out of this self-worth pity idea and we'll move on forward successfully, right? Because that's going to bring a tower. So now a change is coming. And what changes? This belief that you weren't worth it. Last card of your story. Yep, that's true. That is what I'm seeing. The tower is falling, so those belief systems are not done, and you're totally walking away from it. Yeah, you're seeking the happiness because you're going towards the Ten of Cups, which is the ultimate happiness, right? Bravo. So it's like you get a little hip check to yourself and you say, I am worth it, so I am going to get what I deserve. Okay, I have to take just one, and then one will be on the bottom, be the top. There's the Empress. See? Uh, now you get back into the groove, Stella. Yes, now you raise your vibrations. Now you're feeling, you know, that loving, unconditional, giving, nurture, kind of just, mm. Whatever you pick is gonna really land you in a nice spot. For some of y'all that, I don't really see cups out here other than the King of Cups. Well, seven of cups, I mean, there's no like love out here. So, mm, this, this, this definitely puts you in this Empress um, energy, right? This vibration, high vibration, good job. Right, and Cherry, boom, divine says get in, taking you on this journey, right? Because you are this empress, right? This is your standards. And sometimes you got beat down a little bit thinking that, you know, you were over giving to people and people taking it from you, losing shit, right? You definitely make a good choice in um, exploring your options of who you want to invest in, collaborate with. Friends, family, co-workers, like I said, it doesn't really be that specific with this one. So after this chair, I'm gonna see where you're going. So I'm gonna pull another card, actually two cards, because we gotta balance everything out. There it is, Wheel of Fortune. Bam, that's the cycle change. Good job for you, okay? So you, once you get into this higher vibration, just put yourself out in the world. Uh, the chariot comes up, pulls you in, and now you're off uh, for a new cycle, a new start, a new beginning, right? Yeah, boom. Ooh. Knight of Cups. Now you're like fun and flirty. Right? Not so mm, impatient and beating yourself up about your self-worth, right? There is another card for you, and it's the Queen of Wands. So now you're fun and flirty, but you're a little sassy, right? So now you're getting to, into the swing of things. You're getting into your authentic self. You're really driven emotionally now to kind of stay in this cycle, okay? Of promoting your own self-worth, loving yourself enough to continue on knowing that it's a big giant world out there and a few hits aren't gonna kill you to be feeling rejected enough to stop. I like that. And now you will find peace. Four swords. <laughs> that's for you, my friend. Yeah, four swords. You find peace, you can lay all that to rest because it's just gonna be very peaceful from here on out if you just stay in this high vibing energy, right? Fun, flirty, a little sassy, but still in that high vibing energy of the Empress, right? Shazam, that has been your reading, my friends. Pow, ka-chow, that's for you. <laughs> Right. Hope you enjoyed that. I did. It was fun. Anyways, the browse my playlist. I got a bunch of good stuff out there for y'all. Check out. Peace and pray. Be 
bold and be beautiful today, right? Tell all your friends about the channel. This is for you, my friend. This has been your Capricorn Aquarius Cusp reading. Y'all have a blessed day now. And uh, hit that like button and subscribe. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and pray. Have a great day.